In the previous video, we have added patches of stone to our map, but if we take a look at it, it still looks a bit rounded. There are some peaks, there are some valleys, but overall this looks pretty boring. So what I would like to do is I would like to improve this by using an algorithm called domain warping. So the idea is that I want to have this kind of more jagged terrain so there are more small hills and this big hill is split into a couple of peaks instead of having this only one smooth peak and this is what the domain warping technique does it creates us those warps and also we can apply this to the stone so that it creates us those different looking stone areas and this might also add to the whole experience and as you can see here is a kind of a connection between two areas and around it there is the water so it really looks kind of interesting what we have right now compared to the smooth terrain generated by the multi perlin noise so here is the article that i have used uh, i will post a link in the description of this video to this article so the main warping is a way to distort our noise values the idea here is that we are going to take the value uh, for this specific point and add some offset again calculated based on the Perlin noise so in this case for this point we are going to move up and left or up and right or down and whatever the offset is but basically we are going to move the point that should be further towards the position that we are calculating the noise for and this will make our rounded hills uh, not have the smooth drop but rather have a, a peak and then immediately a drop so generally as you can see on this screenshot this looks much more like a terrain uh, that we could see from a satellite okay i feel like it will be best when we visualize it using our own code rather than look at those images so let's go back to unity okay so i would like to go to our underscore scripts folder right click create a new c -sharp script and I'm going to call this one Domain Warping. Okay, let's open this script up in Visual Studio. Great. Right. Now again, the point of this class will be to break the smoothness of our terrain by introducing the offset to our noise calculations. So first of all, I will delete the start and update methods. We will leave the mono behavior inheritance so that we can assign it through the inspector. And first of all, we are going to have a public noise settings, and those will be noise settings for the noise domain X, so on the X axis and on the Y axis, which in our terms is really the Z axis because Y goes up. But since we are using two dimensional vector, uh, we are going to represent it as Y. And we also will have an amplitude X and amplitude Y. By default, those will be set to 20. And all of those parameters will be uh, useful for us to control how our domain warping algorithm will work. Okay, so now I will paste the methods that we are going to need. So first method will be our public flow the generate domain noise method that will get the X and Z coordinate that we pass to it, I think, in the biome generator when we call our process chunk column, we pass to it get surface height noise, and this is the x and z value that we are passing here. So those are the values, the coordinates for the point where we want to calculate our noise. So those are the same coordinates. And for this point, we are going to also get the noise settings, so default noise settings for a specific biome. Next, what we are going to do is have a vector to domain offset. So basically what I was talking about we are going to generate some offset so you can uh, set it to be equal to generate the domain offset x and z as parameters right click generate a new method and we are going to have the vector 2 with those offset values having those offset values all we need to do is to return a my noise dot octave perlin so this is the method that we have been using currently to generate our noise value and we are going to pass here the x value plus the domain offset.x and z value plus the domain offset.y and of course we need to pass the default noise settings so now let's go to our generate domain offset method so this method will take a x and z coordinates 
and will return as the vector two. And this will generate as the float values, so noise x and noise y, using the same myNoise.octave Perlin method, passing it x and z coordinates, so the coordinates for this specific point, and passing the domain, uh, the noise domain x and noise domain y noise settings. So basically, we are calculating the value from 0 to 1, but now using those noise domain x and noise domain y noise settings. So those will be different values per different x and z point. And we are going to multiply it by the amplitude, so we can get the value from 0 up to the amplitude value, so 20, for uh, the default value, but we can, of course, modify it. Now, if we go a bit too far with those values, we can get strange results, but if we keep it in a, a reasonable range, so we do not want to go very far from our point, or our starting point, we are going to get some nice results, some uh, uh, sudden drops from the top of the hill to the bottom of our terrain, and we are going to extend the range of our hills. And we are going to basically return this as a vector2 value. And last method that we are not currently using, but this method will be very useful when we want to calculate the centers of the biomes that we are going to implement very soon. For now, this is it for our domain warping uh, class. Let's save it. And let's go back to Unity. Okay. So now we are going to use this class and assign it to our terrain generator. But uh, first we are going to use it on our biome generator. So this is our default biome. So let's assign on it the domain warping class. And here we are going to need to have some noise settings. So maybe let's create a new folder for it. Let's call it domain warping. And inside this folder right click create and we are going to use data. Uh, noise settings and let's first uh, uh, call the first one noise settings domain x and let's control d to duplicate it and let's call it noise settings domain y okay so for the x i have tested some parameters so let's set the noise zoom to be 0 0.01 the octaves to be 3 the offset Let's set it to be 600 and 350. Uh, this doesn't really matter, so you can set it as you like. The persistence 0 0.5 and the redistribution modifier 1.2, exponent uh, to be 5. And we are going to set the world offset or not, depending on uh, the code that we have. But I don't think that we are using the world offset for the domain warping, although we could. And this is it, so maybe the noise settings for the Y are zero, so let's delete it and let's duplicate it again. So we can have some base to modify, base values to modify, since uh, the values for the Y axis will be similar. So what we can do is maybe change the noise zoom to be 0 0.02. The offset we can of course change, I have set 900 by uh, 1500. And I think that we are good. So let's select our biome generator and assign our domain uh, noise x and the uh, domain noise y and we can change those amplitudes but for now let's maybe implement the uh, way to call this domain warping script so what we want to do is go to our biome generator select the biome generator script let's click those three dots and edit the script and at the top of the script i'm going to add maybe below the noise settings public domain warping domain warping Okay, now I'm going to select the domain warping and I'm going to slide it down where we have this get surface height noise method and let's comment out the float terrain height. Let's write it again float terrain height and we are going to be uh, to set it to be equal to our domain warping dot generate domain and noise and we are going to pass the same what we have ahead above. So let's pass it here and this is how we are going to use our domain warping to change the terrain height and maybe to just see the difference let's add a bool flag public bool use domain warping and we are going to set it to be true by default and let's slide it down and we are going to use it so we are going to basically expose the float terrain height 
and we are going to check if the use domain warping is equal to false we are going to use this first line of code and if this is false we are going to use else we are going to use this new code that we have created just so that we can see the difference that we have made okay let's save it and now let's go back to unity great let's assign our domain warping let's press play and let's see what is the difference now let's try generating our terrain using the domain warping okay this is it let's disable it and regenerate our terrain okay as you can see that the terrain without domain warping is a bit more bulky so let's select use domain warping again let's regenerate it, the terrain okay you can see that a bit of a shift has occurred let's increase the amplitude to be something like 80 and 80 let's regenerate our terrain okay and as you can see the terrain has become very jagged and you can already see that this looks much more interesting there are small peaks but this is a bit larger area here are small uh, hills uh, and overall this center point has become a bit more uh, interesting looking because as you can see now there is this hole here it is a bit bigger let's compare it to what we had previously let's uncheck the main the domain warping let's regenerate it as you can see this was pretty small area here and right now if we again use the domain warping we'll see that this looks much more interesting uh, this is kind of a small island here connected by from two sides and overall this uh, for example body of water has those uh, small areas here and of course we can uh, save those values or actually retype those 80 and 80 but we can apply it to our stone layer as well so what we can do is go to our block layers open up the stone layer handler add here the again public domain warping domain warping okay and we can again instead of calculating the noise cut using my noise uh, octave parallel noise uh, let's uh, comment it out and we are going to substitute it by the float tone noise equals domain warping dot generate domain noise and we are going to pass the same that we had previously okay let's go back to unity great and let's assign to our uh, additional layer stone layer the biome generator domain warping and make sure that the domain uh, the biome generator has the uh, use domain warping checked and you have changed the amplitudes let's press play let's see how it works okay and as you can see this looks much more interesting because now our rocks are not placed everywhere but for example here they are at the top and this changes how our rock layer is being placed so again this is something that you can reuse across multiple um, objects and as you can see that it will add some interesting looking uh, variations to our terrain okay this is it for this video in the next one we are going to start creating a player that can move around our map and we are going to figure out how to load more chunks as we move around our terrain and again if you're enjoying this tutorial leave a like leave a comment subscribe you can support me through youtube membership or the patreon and of course you can join the discord links are in the description okay see you in the next video